Ladies and gentlemen, the moment the truth is here, right? Like, the time is now. So apparently, there has been a massive beef that I came across that you guys made me aware of just in the last couple of days. We talking about the Eggman, we talking about the homie Andy Pants Gaming, the skill of the shill up, the, the Bellator news, the young yas out there. The homie Andy Pants Gaming went crazy and apparently what we're now finding out that this beef got so out of hands that Andy Pants Gaming the originator the guy that called out the act man to be act ma'am apparently struck down and copy strike his video slash stream oh, shit. so we're gonna find out together what was said in this one like this video if you love your mama like this video if you think uh if you think there are two genders dislike if you think there are five thousand genders but Let's get down to it, boys. I don't think you guys are ready Buddy, for this This one. is the Act Man here. Recently, I did a debate with the YouTuber Andy Pants Gaming. Now, some of you may be familiar with him, some of you won't be, but I did a debate on his channel, and because he's been deleting comments, or, sorry, disabling comments, Disable. enabling comments, disabling them again, disabling the live replay chat, unlisting the stream, republicizing it, um, it he is flip-flopping on all of this, and just for the sake of authenticity and transparency, I'm reposting the entire debate here. Yeah. I hop on the- uh, And apparently this was uh, taken down by the homie, Andy Pants Gaming, and then later on he, you know what, uh, feels like that maybe a light did shine through, right? So a beacon of hope was there, a beacon of light was shined through him, and then he had, uh, like, a aha moment, and then he un- uh, unstrike the, the video, and now the video is alive. So before it gets taken down again, we're just gonna check it out real quick, okay? Call at about six and a half minutes in, so six and a half minutes after whatever this introduction ends. But that six and a half minutes might be important context to get an idea of what his attitude and vibe was prior to the debate, and, okay. you know, see how he's handled things after. To give you after. some context, this guy was the one who made a video called Woke YouTubers, in which he alleged that I was a gay communist, <laughs> chilling for the woke agenda or something. No evidence behind it, and so... Yo. As I watch their content on a consistent basis... I... Uh, now, uh, to be fair though, listen, man, I, as a, as a human, I got no head to these suckers, okay? Like, first of all, let me just clear this out, okay? You can agree, and you can disagree, that's perfectly fine. Yo, Dr. Andy, what's good, man? How you doing, man? How you doing? But apparently, the act man was super goaded. Was goaded. Okay, that's what people are saying, and I kind of lean into that opinion as well myself. Oh, shit! Because, 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 but I feel like that now he's making a comeback. So he's making a comeback, and I love that, man. I love it when brothers make a comeback, though. I love it when the homies can make a comeback. But the act man is making a comeback, okay? He making a comeback. But apparently, the Ackman kind, people started turning on, on him because at one point, uh, his channel was demonetized, he was getting cancelled, and the entire community came to support the Ackman. And then the drama happened with uh, Heel vs. Babyface last year, when Heel vs. Babyface went gang gang, he went crazy. I wish I could say psych, but uh, you know what I mean, right? Like, he went crazy, uh, called out the pronouns crap, the agenda crap in uh, Starfield and video games, right? And I thought he was pretty genuine. I thought, like, uh, his points, I mean, his points are now more relevant after what happened with Concord and what's happening in video games, right? You feel what I'm saying, right? But the Ackman said, heel versus babyface should get shot down by a beard tranquilizer. <laughs> what? Bro! We had your back when you were the one getting cancelled, my guy! Like, damn, bro! Like, what we talking about, bruh? You were getting cancelled and the community had your back? What the hell are we talking about, bro? And you said heel versus babyface need to get shot down by a bear tranquilizer. He said that. And that's when a lot of people were like, hey, bro, like, hey, what? Act ma'am? Is that you? Like, so a lot of people sort of started turning on the the homie act man. But I feel like that he made a temporary truce. He tried to apologize and all that. And I feel like now it's good in the hood. But that's the context. Uh, so with that information in mind, let's get down to it. I realize these dudes are so deep in the gay communist agenda, they can't even criticize it anymore. Act man is indeed good at playing an act. He's good at appearing natural and looking like he's riffing. The reality is he's reading a careful script that has definitely been run by his handlers at Activision and Bungie and other DEI departments. I came on to debate him about various things. Not really sure what was going to happen, but <clears throat> things did not go the way Andy wanted. And because he is not being transparent and he is trying to hide things from his audience and from my audience. Okay, so this was recorded in post. Okay, so we're about to get a prequel real quick. So this is uh, what your hair is. And, and what I'm seeing right now, people are very, very, very much 50-50, but a lot of people are siding with the act man because he had a leg up. And of course, when your competition when the other person involved, the other party involved, which is which happens to be Andy Pants Gaming, takes down your stream, in which you're in to begin with, that don't look good. Because, and listen here, Andy Pants, we reacted to his videos, we we discussed those videos, we talked about those videos, and Andy Pants have good points. I, I, I'm not gonna take away, even right now, based on what happened, like, we're seeing the fallout happen, right? Even after all this, a Andy Pants Gaming, he got good points. 
I don't get it. I don't understand why you do it. Why you had the urge to take down uh, his video on his channel, bruh? Which, uh, of course, he has uh, unretracted. He The video is now living. Yo, Water, I see you laughing in chat. Yo, Ali, what's good, man? How you doing, brother? How you doing, bruh? Um, I feel it necessary to post the stream in its entirety here. So feel free to go down to the comments and roast the fuck out of me. Make fun of me. Very I encourage it. I always try to welcome criticism. And, you know, it helps me get better as a person and as a content creator. I'm not perfect. He's making a comeback, man. Listen, bro. He making a comeback. Gotta be fair here, bro. Like, so like we were talking about uh, the act man when they're out of act ma'am. Now he's he's making a comeback. So shout out to him. Shout I make mistakes. I don't always handle things the best way, of course. But I'm not going to silence you down in the comments. So go talk shit about me. Say whatever you want about the debate. And uh, because Andy's not offering that on his channel. So six and I, OK, let's get down to it. So this is a timestamp provided. This is where it goes haywire. If you're just coming on Sony Pony State of Play stream happening very, very soon. Come down on stream. Thank you all for 60 likes. Let's get down to it. Put your seatbelts on, guys. This is it. Here we go. This is it. This is it. There he is, boys. The man himself. Yeah. All right, Ackman, I have, I have one question just to start off. Um, in the words of the African prince, why are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> why are you gay? Yeah. Who says I'm gay? You're not, you're not gay. It's just that you were supporting... Um, you, didn't, you didn't follow through with the line, bro. Come on, man. You, you were supporting Leon mods that were gay, and you were anti-Ashley mods, and I was wondering why you did that. Huh? You're wondering Damn. why I did... What why, are you referring to? For Resident Evil 4, you were in support of Leon mods, in, in support of gay Leon mods, acting like they were no big deal, and you were... again, And then you called people that were pro-Ashley mods. You were like, oh, they're weirdos. I don't know if I said the term weirdo. I mean, if you have the tweet, we can go over it or whatever the tweets are. Yeah. Do you have that on you? So what I have here is oh, there's my there's that, this is my opening. Why are you? This is your yeah. This is your this is my, this is my your project file. This, this is my okay. So so bro, really uh, using like Google Docs to communicate. We love it, man. That's peak, bro. That's peak. <laughs> yo, yo, man. Yeah, okay, bro. Okay, all right, man. Listen, man. <laughs> Right, so man. I thought this was one interesting tweet. You said, um, yeah, so I mean, we, can, we can start off with this stuff, by the way, like dude, we're just, down dude, freeform. dude, I'm just going right into it and feel free to ask, ask me a question whenever you want. But, um, I think a lot of people are familiar with the Nexus mod scandal, how, uh, they're, they're banned. So people just wanted to remove LGBT trash from games and Nexus was banning them and not allowing them to. And then the reverse was not possible. So, um, basically people are not allowed to remove LGBT, LGBT stuff from games. And what you said here was, um, this is false. Nexus mods is not working to delete mods that remove pronouns from Starfield. Mm -hmm. And then there was a clarification note that said, um, from Nexus mods that said, this is actually true. If we think someone is uploading a mod on our site with intent to deliberately be against inclusivity or diversity, then we will take action against it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah. so you think this is some kind of like gotcha? Like, I mean, when yo, I yo, yo, capital E, what's good? Man, how you doing, bro? The mistakes. Like, so do you not, do you not see the double standard that people are allowed to put like gay stuff in there, but aren't allowed to, aren't allowed to remove it? Are you talking about Nexus mods double standard? Yeah. Because, well, I mean, they're an independent company, aren't they? So they're oh, allowed to do what they want. Of course, there might be a double standard there, but there's also the idea that no matter what they choose, they're going to piss some group of people off, right? Mm. If they allow mods mm. like that, they're going to piss off one group. But if they take them down, they're going to piss off the other. So it's really a no-win situation for them. Yeah, and that's kind of. You know what? I got an easy solution. Just don't even put it in the game. <laughs> just, just don't. Then you don't have to think about like removing it. And then, uh, because if you add it, you're gonna piss off people, right? Exactly my point. Big brain, guys. Big brain, big brain. If you add it, you're gonna piss off people. But if you remove it, then you're gonna piss off the other group. So don't even add it. Don't l like the video if you agree. Don't even add it. You might people's own interpretations. But yeah, I, I believe I corrected that mistake that I made. Maybe a quote retweet or something. So if that's all the, that's, that can't be all the ammo you have. Surely you've got something. Oh stronger. no 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 no. My other question is. Does the fence ever hurt? Do the splinters ever hurt from sitting on the fence so much, bud? Mm. Also, is this the route you want to go down? This is the route I want to go down. Let's Are go. you sure? Dude, just unload the ammo on me. Get, get, dude, I'm ready. <laughs> Are you sure about this, man? Because I don't think you're cut out for this. I, I don't am. think you know how this Sweetie. game is played. Sweetie, I am. I'm so cut out for it. Then why... Sweetie? Sweetie? Aye, right, bro. Why have me on when you have done such a terrible job of purging your digital footprint? Go ahead. I've got, I had an old Xbox channel that was stupid. Go ahead. Pull it up. And an old Twitter account and a few go old ahead. YouTube channels. And, oh, ahead, I have like, your permission. Go ahead, dude. Oh. Go, you want to call me homophobic now or later? I don't care about that shit, bro. I care about you being a fake. Oh. And that when the people find out who uh, you really- For, for context, um, this is, I, I, I thought it was known, but I believe it's not very well known. Uh, Andy Pants Gaming had like uh, an Xbox fanboy channel where he would call out Sony ponies and all. I mean, it's harmless, it's memes, it's fine. Like even I, I saw those videos and they were pretty hilarious. So he, he had an Xbox fanboy channel. I believe he still has it, but doesn't upload anymore. That was an era, man. That was an era, bro. Like, I missed that era when, you know, we could all just uh, fight over Sony Pony stuff, Xbox Andy stuff. Uh, I mean, <laughs> no pun intended. His name is Andy Pants Gaming. <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Like, I missed that era when we were just joking about that. Now it's getting, like, real serious, man. It's getting, like, real deep with the vote crap and all that. With the, the Like, as the homie said, with the game stuff and the video games and all that. Yeah, man, it's, it's getting kind of out there, man. Really are. The leopards will eat your face. Go for it. I don't Go for it. 
I've changed. I'll, I'll be super transparent on what I've changed my position on and what I haven't changed my position on. Mm. I've always talked, even on my old Xbox channel, I talked about the woke garbage. It's just people didn't want to hear it at the time. And now my new channel, people want to hear about it. So I talk about it more. Yeah. But okay, you certainly do. So, so I, I seriously though, dude, I really do want to ask you though. Um, before we get into like, like digging up, like digging up junk on each other, dude. Look, I loved your videos from like seven or eight years ago. And do you agree that there has been a steep decline in masculinity in video games since that era of like oh six, oh seven? Like, I know you love that era of games. Do you agree there's been a steep decline in masculinity since then in games? Steep decline. I mean, there's obviously still instances of games that have masculine protagonists, sure. But you know, I'd have to, I would have to watch your masculinity video <laughs> in its entirety. I think I watched about seven or eight minutes. Okay. And. uh yeah. Okay, let's settle this real quick, man. One in the comments if you think there is a steep decline, two if you think there is not. I want to see like where you guys are though. Uh, is GTA 6 going to be woke? If so, I hope it's not, man. But even if it turns out to be like that game is going to sell like hotcakes regardless though. You feel what I'm saying? It's GTA 6 we're talking about. One. Okay, so LT says one. Let's see what Twitch. Straight chilling. What's good, man? It's chilling says one. To be fair though. Andy Pants Gaming, Andy Pants Gaming, like I said, he had like really good points in the videos. He has good points, but but it's just that this stream, the Ackman kind of had a leg up though. Right now we're getting, there are very few games that are having masculine characters. I mean, look at Concord, like that's 400 million. And apparently what we're learning is that that was Herman Hulse's baby. So Herman Hulse really pushed for Concord. If you don't like Concord, well, listen here, okay? Herman Hulse was pushing for that game. And he's now the CEO of PlayStation. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, it's it's over. It is over. It is over. Masculinity under attack. Masculinity under attack. Masculinity under attack. So Andy Pence Gaming in that point, not wrong. But then you, you got the Ackman trying to uh, answer that rationally. I feel like the Andy Pence Gaming, of course, like he's pulling uh, like the exaggeration. I do that as well. I do that as well. So he's pulling that more like a meme, like a satire here while being still objective, not objective, but like more real about it. Uh, not more real, but, but you get what I'm saying, right? But the Ackman is more like really, he's uh, going for that objective take. And I feel like that for a debate style works much better. So he's like, hey, not every game r now is not having or having masculine characters. Uh, there are still some games that are having masculine characters. And in a way, Ackman is not wrong, though. You feel what I'm saying? You, you feel what I'm saying? Isn't he the Killzone guy? GTA 6 is totally based around all the Wokies, all main roles. I, I just hope that game is good, man. That's all. That, one, that one hit the algorithm. Yeah. I noticed a, a change in the type of content your channel uh, has. But to answer your question, if there's been a steep decline, how do you quantify masculinity? I mean, like... Uh, objectively, there has been a steep decline. There has been a steep decline, but I guess the Ackman is leaning towards, hey, there's still some games that are masculine right now. There's still some games there, which, I mean, he's not wrong. If he says that, he's not wrong, though. There's still very few games, though. Very few games. The Doom games, like 2016, well, dude, I, Doom Eternal, Doom the Dark Ages coming out. We just had Space Marine 2. That's pretty fucking masculine. I mean, Leon Kennedy, Resident Evil 4 remake. I, I think Leon Kennedy's a fucking badass, pretty masculine. Isaac Clarke, the Dead Space remake, pretty fucking True. masculine. Exactly, but which is a remake of a 2007 game. Right, but those are still remakes released within the last couple of years, all featuring protagonists that we all consider to be fucking Giga Chads. So, right, saying, obviously, there's some contention around your premise that masculinity has fallen off on a steep decline or something. In some okay. ways, sure, maybe there's more uh, pandering. Well, I'm, just, okay, well, go ahead. I'm just saying that we had Medal of Honor, we had Sam Fisher, we had Ghost Recon, we had all of these great, like, masculine characters in games, and it seems like everything now is either a remake. Like, like what new, very masculine character uh, uh, has come in a game recently? New? Yeah. New? Yeah, are you talking, like, entirely new franchise? Right, it's not a remake of a... Like, like, new, new, new franchise? 2007 game because that just proves my point that the games back in the day were more masculine and everything's feminine now i think you're just moving the goalpost because you're talking about masculinity in video games and i give you several examples of protagonists but now you're saying what about new characters no, no, no. Just yeah andy pants gaming could have like saved his ass had it been he just pulled up this right there you feel what i'm saying like this is what andy pants gaming needed to win the argument and he has showed all that in like his videos but like he had to show that in like during a live stream during this debate he could have got a uh, one point uh but L let me be real, man. These are tough questions, guys. These are real, real tough questions. It's it's getting deep out here, man. Moving the goalposts on this. I, I don't have to move the goalposts. Uh, Dead Space is a remake of a 2007 game, so that proves my point. So yes. you, you disagree. You disagree that games are, are, are have been feminized. You disagree that masculinity is in decline in video games. Is that what you're saying? Um, I disagree with some parts of, of what you said, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, um, has parts, the check cleared for part. Payday 3? Uh, yeah, it did. Okay, all right. Hit the bank yeah. account. Yeah, sure did. Okay. It's great that someone is fine. Like, you can finally confront me on that, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, go for Okay, yeah, that's uh, in context. Apparently, the Ackman did a video, a uh, sponsor video. I believe a bunch of YouTubers did a sponsor video for Payday. You know when that was coming out, right? Bruh. Hey, yeah, man, the check cleared up, man. Yo, he was like dead. <laughs> yes, I, I, you cannot even hate it, man. You can't even hate it. Brother is speaking the truth. Brother is getting the bag. He's being real about it. He's like, yeah, bro, like, the check cleared. So what? So what, right? I, I cannot even be mad about that, man.
for it. Good, good. Because it was trash. I don't see how you how you could justify. I mean, right now there's like five. Do you want an actual explanation, or are you just looking for cheap gotcha moments? Because I'm telling I, you, man. No, I my, my closet one. is clean. Dude, okay? I do want an. I do want and an actual I have found a lot in yours. Oh boy, okay? I, I do want an actual explanation. Okay. Well, the explanation is that the version of Payday Three that I played in New York, I was told by certain people at the company, like you know the. I guess the word liaison would be the right word, like the creator liaison, the person who's talking to the content creators and telling them the plan and all that. And I'd gotten back from the New York event, and I checked the footage, because they sent us all home with, with uh, flash drives. And I checked the footage, yeah. and it was, it's all corrupt. And I started talking to the other guys who were at yeah. the event, I was like, dude, do you have any working footage for this? Because mine is just totally Damn. fucked up, there's no audio. So there were technical problems at the event itself. Then, when it came time for the beta, I think it was the public or the closed beta, they had two of them, I played that, had more technical problems with the servers, and I Sadly. asked them, hey, is this what the game is going to be like when it comes out? Because, uh... Like, I'm having server issues, and what I was told is that the version we played in New York was a newer build. Hmm. And so I went into that with the impression that, okay, you know, I'm going to post this video, I'm leaving for a trip, and I'm going to post this video before I leave, and I hope <laughs> hope it doesn't turn into a shit show. Hmm. And I feel like if I... Any good, huh? I do have serious regrets about that, because if I had just done a better job in the intro of saying, like, hey, the game is not out yet, this, you know, please wait for reviews, I wish I had done that. Um, yeah, you know? Yeah. Repentance. We all have to repent, you know, for our mistakes and uh, ask for forgiveness. Yeah. You're a religious man, aren't you? I, I am, and, and that's and I appreciate that. That because several people had brought that up to me, and it's good for you to, to hear an explanation for it. Um, I mean, that's uh, that's the uh, the simpler explanation is that maybe it was a miscommunication from this guy. Uh, maybe he was told something by someone higher up, and he relayed that to me. Like, oh yeah, don't, no, don't worry, it's it's a newer build. And uh, Ricky, Ricky coming in with two. Uh, can you explain that in easy terms? Uh, say say no more pop. Yeah, I got you, brother. I got you. Starting soon the PlayStation event. The timestamp, the the countdown on stream that uh, that is for the the Sony stream, guys. In 53 minutes, that that's uh, when it's happening. I got you all. Done. And so like you know these people had. The event was professional, everything, except, like, the small technical difficulties. I hadn't ever really done, like, pre-release reviews before. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't often get invited to, to those things. I think I've done Halo Wars 2 and Payday 3. Those are the only two events where I think I've been uh, actually invited out to. Okay. I talk sure. a lot of shit, so if you want to accuse me of Bro, <laughs> being I, a shill, I don't dude. get invited to a lot of things. Did you? So you truly liked Black Ops 6? Okay, so, like, where exactly, right? Why exactly Andy Pants Gaming took down this stream that we're watching? Guys, you gotta understand that if you're here right now, this stream was taken down. So we're watching like a taken down version here, but then he removed the strike and all was good. So before it gets taken down again, like I want to see like what happened. So far it seems pretty chill. Uh, I don't see like massive jabs or anything like that, but maybe this is uh, where it starts. Let's find out. Do you truly like the new Call of Duty game? Because that feels like we're waiting for the check to clear from Activision as well. <laughs> <laughs> see, you're just... You the funny thing is that parts of your audience don't know that you're joking. No, I'm not joking, brother. I swear to God. I I'm hear you laughing. laughing. Like I, I'm laughing at the fact that I think you were. I, I don't think. I don't think you're an idiot, bro. If, if you're familiar with my content, you have a very good understanding of why Activision does not pay me or offer to pay me, nor would I accept offers Dude, for you're payment. You're talking about their game. You're still talking about their game, and you just said, uh, "What did you say? Treyarch is cooking with this one." Yes. So, as the chat here, that's my only question, yeah. because the game is dog shit, I've played it, the game is dog shit. Okay, everybody, okay, gather around, okay, we gotta talk about it. Black Ops 6, man, listen, you think that's one of the best game out there? One if yes, two if you think it's high, it's mid, three if you think it's the worst game ever. I would go with mid, I would go with mid, personally, that's my uh, personal take. I did enjoy the, the, the beta when it was out, yeah, I was like listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos in the background. I enjoyed my time. I enjoyed my time. I thought it was better than Concord. I thought it was better than uh, Dustborn as well. Oh, it was uh, 10 times better than Dustborn. Okay, let me just uh, keep it that way. Let me just put it that way. Okay, it was I. Yeah, I wanted. Yeah, same. I'm disappointed about zombies. Big disappointed about zombies. But in terms of multiplayer, it's I. It's I. But if you're gonna really bring in the argument like, hey man, Treyarch took four years to make, then I'm gonna like, bro, it's disappointing, man. It is disappointing. So forget that they they took four years to make that that junk uh without that it's very odd though like i enjoyed my time but if you're gonna tell me that those suckers spend four years four four years making black ops 6 then bro like what are we talking about man they made better games in like a year and a half like black ops 2 right not buying the garbage sweaty fest okay got you too that game hasn't even released yet how can it be the best okay that's smart that is smart that is smart not not buying it okay one three one two three okay so a lot of people saying like mid uh ross has three okay some of you are saying like three but i'm seeing just one guy out here the only the homie chapel thinks it's gonna be the best and that's fair that is fair that is fair i'm just hoping that i just hope that we don't get the bbc online uh in that uh you want yeah i just hope that they don't do that this time but right, let's get back to the content here boo boo Objectively, of course, right? Your, your subjective opinion. Yeah, you're just you're fucking with me, bro. And it's like it's so easy to sniff it out, man. If you're gonna, oh, I thought this was satire at first. What you were doing, I thought you were making fun of video game critique. Um, just, video, video game. Down, Sorry, going down. just because I'm chuckling doesn't mean this is a joke. I 100% think the game is trash, and I and you and you honestly, legitimately think I'm being paid by Activision. 
Dude, I, I, I do wonder if it's second hand. You're a smart guy. Think, you're not I, retarded. I, let's I, let's I, not insult both of our intelligences here, okay? If you yeah, genuinely think I'm, I, I'm being paid whoa. by Activision, you have never watched a single Call of Duty video I've made. Whoa, you're still talking whoa. about the game, though. So I'm trying to piece a lot of these things together, like why. And you're doing you a really about, bad job of it. Why by you way. Don't talk about woke stuff? Why you? There's there's certain rakes that you avoid stepping on, and I wonder. If Yo, it's going down. It's getting good. Okay, so now that's where the good part is. Okay, so after like 16 minutes. Okay, so 16 minutes. That's like the, you know the. The the appetizer is that the word is that the word you know like what you get before you get a big meal right yeah so now we're getting like the the big one oh shit okay boys put your seat belts on right now if it's to be more palatable to your corporate uh, handlers <laughs> okay all right I, I knew you were gonna de deny that so it's fine what um here's my here's my other no, no 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 I'll answer that question yeah I'll answer that why do I avoid so I I watched about two minutes of your woke YouTubers video and I could not stop laughing and I was like I gotta. I gotta sit down, get some popcorn, and really enjoy this. Right. I like—I yeah, yeah, especially yeah. like the part where you were like, "Why don't these YouTubers talk about racism directed towards white people?" Yes. And, yeah. and you know what? You're yeah. right, bro. I—I I started working on a new video. It's called "Why Is the Great Replacement Theory So Bad?" And I think—I think the fans are gonna love it. Um, we're, we're just hard pivoting to uh, political content on my main channel. Oh shit! Oh, damn! Damn! So his new movie about to come out very soon. Okay, so in that one, he's gonna talk about. It. Okay, so gonna wait for that Ackman video. Got it. Got it. I'm—I'm uh, I'm all in. I'm like you, man. I'm all in. Dude. Dude, I get it. I get it. Uh, you want to protect your money. You want to protect your cash. And the way you do that God. is by playing both sides. You, you no, both. I am true Dude, to I myself, my Andy. I want to protect my money too. I get it. I know at the and cost of your own soul, man. You are you are sacrificing something that you. When you go up to the man upstairs, he's gonna know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I've you? gone through your history. I have all the archives. I have all. The, I have the community post you deleted yesterday about us. You, you're so bad at deleting things and hiding things from your audience, bro. I have it all. Okay. No, I, are you familiar it, with poker terminology? And I want to see all of it. And I want to see all of all of the games that you have on me. I, uh, all right. Well, I mean, I mean, you're you're in a position where the leopards might come to eat your face. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. When your audience sees the things you've tried to hide from them, go for it. They will turn uh, on you. Tell them well. Tell us what I what I've hidden from my audience. Go for it. All right. Well, speaking, we can start off light, but um, you're you're a huge fan of Starfield, aren't you? At one point, I. We can start off light. Yo, don't bring the Starfield into it, man. Don't bring Starfield, bruh. Nah. Say you swear to God, man. Say psych right now. Say psych right now, and we gotta change the Captain BBC there. Okay, let me actually get something more like. You know, that's a, that's a good boy. That's my reaction right now. Because, uh, you know, Starfield is where it started at all with the Ackman. Because, the uh, you know, Heel versus Babyface uh, was like, hey, what trash is that, right? He called out the pronouns, the, the LGTV agenda, being pushed in video games and all that. And that started like a beef online. Uh, and people people were being on the Heel versus baby si Babyface side. People were clowning on him. And the Ackman came out and said that you need to get shot down by a bear tranquilizer. <laughs> what? What? You crazy? You crazy? So that's when like all of this went down and I believe Andy Pants Gaming uh, at that time he was like making like Xbox fanboys content uh, and then that's fine though that's fine though listen man I'm cool with everybody doing their own thing man listen man I'm cool but that's like I'm telling you that I'm giving you the context right so the An Andy Pants Gaming was like hey Sony Pony's bad oh, yeah okay fair damn man I, I enjoy that content too yeah I love it when people get mad I love it I love it when the Sony Ponies and the Xbox Andy's fighting man for no damn reason or no, sometimes for some reason, I feel like that this is where I stand. As a brown man, I demand PlayStation and Xbox to make online for free. I think we, our future, uh, our future generation deserve to play online gaming for free on the PS3 and Xbox 360. Like the video, or not the 360, but the current Xbox, the, the future Xbox, the future PlayStation and all that. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree, man. Thank you all for 83 likes, uh, by the way, on this stream, man. Appreciate it, man. Gang, gang, brothers, gang, gang. All right, let's get back to it. I was a big fan of Starfield, and I, mm. I have over... And I'm glad you brought that up, because I actually get in fights with my own audience sometimes, because sometimes I am... Sometimes there's aspects of Starfield that I will justify, and I was a big fan of just of Starfield at one point. And over time, as I've played the game more, I've played it more, and I've realized that, um, you know, I had an... I, so if you're talking about my, my pro Starfield Xbox video that I made at one point, well, I'm talking about that and the hundreds of community posts sucking yeah. it off. You want to talk about corporate chilling, man? Go oh. down, go down to Andy's Xbox channel and look at all the undeleted community posts he has sucking off Starfield. Dude, go check. No, absolutely. If you want to talk, you want to accuse me of being a corporate chill, bro? We can play that Dude, game. I just like the game. I like the game. I wasn't paid mm -hmm. off. I wasn't paid off by Activision the way you they, are. They pay you five bucks for each of those community posts, bro. Yo. No, go for it. Everybody can go look at it. Go, look, go look right you're now. faking. You're faking this confidence, and I, I've seen through it. Okay, go I see through this facade. Your audience might not at this point. But if they watch the video that I create, they will. Some of them will, you know? Yo, damn, homie, that was his past, man. He's a changed man right now, man. Damn, man, what are we talking about, man? So he's talking about, like, the fact that Andy Pence Gaming was sucking Starfield BBC, and uh, he was sucking them dry and all that. He was, like, grifting for that game, whatnot. And listen, man, I I'll be honest. We have all been there, man. There used to be a time when, um, you know, right, exactly, right? Like, if there's a game you like, you go overboard sometimes. When you know you should not, 
and then they hit you up with a bumble cloud and, and then guess what like how many times that has happened for example right now I, I believe cyberpunk is considered like very good but initially man for cyberpunk i was really excited for that game and you guys know what happened when that game came out right damn man those things were crazy because initially i was not looking forward to cyberpunk and that's i'm talking like five years six years ago at this point right so i was not excited for cyberpunk at all and then they got me bro they got me man they got me i was like really excited the game came out and then it was like bro that was a highway robbery bro that turned out to be a highway robbery <laughs> so i'm just hoping with gta 6 that's not gonna happen that's all i'm hoping for if you're just coming on we're getting a playstation stream very soon guys but we're checking out a debate that went down with andy pants and the act man so yeah andy pants uh, apparently uh uh was stuck in the bbc of starfield and i mean hey yeah, you do you you do you like you were uh, a, a fan of that game i guess you were bigger than just being a fan of that game and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that it's a video game at the end of the day man but of course it turned out to be a trash game and then later on he, his opinion changed and yeah we learn and grow we learn and grow so i don't think that's a big deal but i, I guess right now in the debate sense it's a big deal because you see Andy Pants is the one that initiated this conversation. He said that, Ackman, how dare you like Black Ops 6, right? I think you are paid. He, no, he didn't even say I think. He said that you are paid by Activision for liking it, you're shilling for it. And the Ackman just responded to that. And uh, man, like, love him or hate him, though, like, the Ackman kind of went crazy there. So, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Okay. But. So, one question for you um, Concord had three black females in it and not a single white man. Did three too many, was, isn't it? Just, did you think that was strange at all? Did you think that was strange at all that it had three black females in it and one white man? Or are you just going to ignore, like, obvious stuff? This is the hard hitting stuff, bro. No, it's just a question. Can you just, just asking questions? Uh, was I no? I was more distracted by how unappealing all of the character designs were. Imagine, like, see, the thing about you, Andy, is that I, I've seen older videos of, of you. Yeah, I've seen things, and you are capable of having good, like, nuanced, well thought out take. Yo, make the membership free. Then I, I, even if I want to, I don't think I can make it free. But, but I, bro, like, come on, man, it's a membership, bro. Come on, man, it's a membership, man. Yo, like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe so I can feed my non-existing dog right now. You know, give me that woof woof, man. Give me that woof woof. Yeah, give me that woof woof, man. I gotta pay my my good boy right there. But now, even if I not, to be fair though, I believe like the lowest I can make is ninety nine cents. But I don't even bother doing that. If you wanna become a member, thank you, thank you. If you don't wanna become a member, then get the hell off. <laughs> I'm joking, man. I'm joking. There was a streamer that actually said that, right? There has been so many streamers in the history of planet Earth. It's like on Twitch, most of the times it's like the women streamers though. It's the female streamers that say that it's. Five dollars! It's five dollars! I forgot her name though. She went actually crazy during a stream because uh, she was asking for money on stream. And I mean, okay, you do you, boo boo. But uh, then she started shaming uh, the viewers. Uh, she started saying that it's five dollars. <laughs> it's, it's five dollars. If you cannot afford five dollars, get the F out. Something like that, right? I'm forgetting the the, the name. It was not Alinity. Uh, it was someone else. Uh, what, yeah. what you're hard, yeah. But what you're hard pivoting to right uh -huh. now is built on a foundation of lies and hatred. Okay, and, hatred, and you're pivoting to this. Hatred towards what? Towards anyone that's gay, all the LGBTQ community. Did you, like, say, did you say that you're a Christian earlier? Uh, I would I would not say I am a Christian. I'm not like a, a practicing Christian, but I do okay. uh, at times talk to friends and I... What would be, like, not necessarily practicing Christianity, <laughs> uh, but you talk to your friends and you integrity. understand. Act man, this is what people say online. You have no integrity. This is what we're talking about. What? You have I'm not a Christian? Because you're I'm... trying to play both sides to make money on your YouTube channel. You, have wait, wait, hold on. you just asked me if I was a Christian. Where are you going yes, with that? I did. I did. What does that have to do with my integrity? The only people with... It had, are, do you stand on your... Are you a Christian or not? And do you stand on those values? Uh... No, I'm not a practicing Christian. Okay. No, okay. I don't go to church. Okay, all right. Why, why do you ask? What's, what's the purpose of that? Well, no, you just started, you know, it's... it's do you think I'm like, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the Ninth Commandment. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Oh, eh, 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 whoa, 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 tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilo. Uh, personally, I'm not Christian, uh, but Ninth Commandment, Commandment in Islam, in the, or not Islam, Bible, in the Bible, in the Bible, you shall not bear false when, damn, I was expecting that. I was expecting something like that. Oh, my bad. The chat. Yeah, okay. There we go. You guys are able to see. You shall not bear false. Yeah, so essentially he's talking about the fact that, hey, you should not lie. You should not... Uh, if you're a witness of something, don't lie. You know, you should... You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Yo, that's big, man. The Ackman, yo, bro. I'm telling you, man. The Ackman went crazy there, bro. The Ackman went crazy, man. Sheesh, man. Yo, what up, Ninja Ninja? What up, bro? Yo, a long time, Ninja. How you doing, bro? What's good? Yo, long time, man. Yo, uh, you know, crazy thing. Just earlier today, before the stream, I play, I installed Black Ops 3 and I played a round of Shadows of Evil. I'm saying that because I'm aware, like, we were there, you know what I mean? Like, 
and, and to the the people out there that do not know man like i'm a, I'm a big fan of black ops 3 zombies still to this day it, it's just sad like how how badly they butchered the, the 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 new zombies and it's like not even the same right so uh, i installed black ops 3 uh, and i played shadows of evil zombies earlier today and uh yeah man i i had a fun time so i played it after like years so it feels like like that map is crazy but i let's get back to the content here boo boo nice to see you ninja hopefully all good in the hood you still in the the big uh, new york or uh Opening. you're returning for black ops 6 personally i have not even pre-ordered i i'm thinking about not buying it honestly uh yeah but that's me though that's me like that should not discourage you you do you right like i'm not thinking about it. last year i didn't buy because i didn't like what they were doing so th that's me though like you know you are your own person so but if dlc1 zombie map turns out to be good i'm buying it right then and there or if they reveal more and it turns out to be good looking then i'll buy the first zombies map did look good but it's just that when we got to see the actual gameplay of the second map yeah nah man i'm out bro i'm out i did have a, i did have fun playing the multiplayer beta though uh, I thought it was better than Concord. I thought it was better than Dustmorn. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed my time. I enjoyed my time, but I'm a Zombies guy. So, Zombies ain't feeling the same, man. Toxic Gamers, Toxic Gamers, Toxic Gamers. Let's see what Twitch is saying. What good Canadian brother from another mother. Yo, Steve, what's good, man? I see, I do, man. Appreciate you coming on the Twitch, bro, uh, Boo Boo. Thank you, bro, brother. Thank you, bro. No, no. It's funny. My, my other buddy said it. Nice right, command. I'm sure you're familiar with it. What is that? Uh, coveting? No, no. It's funny. My, my other buddy said it. Uh, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. I'm a big fan of that one. Okay, did I, did I lie somewhere? Where? You've done you've done a lot of lying, buddy. Okay, where, where did I where did I lie? This should be good. Um, yeah. Let's see. We have a funny quote from you. Let's see if I can. Yo, love him or hate him, though. Like he just brought in the big guns there, bro. I found your Damn. old video on political bias and game journalism, and again, it's like this is a good take. But see, like the audience you have cultivated is not going to like something that you say here. Oh, great! I can't wait. Yeah, this is these are your words. The more gay, lesbian, trans, and female characters we have in games, the better. Uh, mm -hmm. the more I... diverse perspectives we have in games, the better they will always be. This this doesn't. This isn't really lining up with the direction your channel is going in, does it? Yeah. I what, what I will say what I will say is that about a year ago, I was backing Xbox, and it's I think it's pretty commonly known that I used to have an Xbox channel. And mm -hmm. I think in those moments of me backing Xbox, I would say stupid stuff at some points. And you know, if anybody wants to find that or Google that or whatever, I don't know. Oh, really is that one of those stupid things you, you yeah. don't think? Yeah. Well, oh, so you completely one eighty that? So, so so yes, it was stupid. And so oh. Google, so what I think you need to understand is that I formerly had an Xbox channel, and when you're going down that logic of like, oh, I have to support everything Xbox does, you start to say stupid stuff, and you grow, and you become a better person, and you move on from that. And so are you? Yo, that is crazy, man. So, the Eggman really came out with the big shit there. Careful, bro. Are you going to watch the state of play? Yeah. It yeah, 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 yeah. In about 40 minutes. Yes, sir. I got a countdown on stream for just for that, brother. Yo, instant master, master. Thank you for the five, brother. Thank you for the five. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. So, yeah, basically for context, Andy Pence Gaming was running like a Xbox fanboy channel. Nothing wrong with that. You know, you do you. Uh, to be fair, though based off of what's going down in the gaming industry i would rather sickest be make it uh, like getting mad over like playstation sony pony stuff or xbox xbox andy stuff and xbox stuff like seeing everybody just like fight over the crap and, and us getting bad games like damn man this debate is painful and depends lost me uh, and here's the thing i'll still say you thank for the two i'll still say i'll still say because man objectively speaking andy pence gaming in his prior videos had solid points so you cannot take away from that the reason it's solid points is because that's what's true that's what's going on gaming sucks nowadays not not every game but most of the new games that are coming out they're not as good as what we had five years ago and ten years ago now if you're a new gamer you do not have any references to what we had uh back in the days like five years ago ten years ago so for you the new games probably are gonna be very fun and enjoyable and i cannot blame you for that because you do not have the reference to any of the stuff that we had five ten years ago makes sense i hope that makes sense but uh it's like the same thing it's the same example i give whenever you know, for call of duty right like call of duty used to be like insanely good back in the days insanely good might not be the right word but you know what i mean right like it's uh, yeah back in the days it was actually much more uh, enjoyable uh, to play versus now uh, for somebody like me that have been playing Call of Duty for a decade plus. But it's not going to be true for some of you guys out there and for majority that just started playing right now. And that's perfectly fine uh, uh, because opinions change and uh, taste uh, do change. We all got different tastes as well. But yeah, right. So video games are going downhill, but I think it's going to get better. I, I, tru I truly do believe that based off of what's going on in the gaming industry, uh, 
uh, people, everyone is speaking their mind, everybody's like voicing their opinions. I truly do believe that eventually it's gonna get to the point where d is gonna realize, Yo, Ricky, thank you for the 50 bits on the Twitch. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Gang, gang, brother. I truly do believe that if gamers still voice their opinions and voice with their wallets, I truly do believe that eventually it's gonna get better. Uh, hey, Skittle, is GTA 6 gonna get canceled again? Um... Probably, probably, yeah, probably. It did get canceled on Twitter, though. I remember, like, when they revealed it for the first time, um, the journalist was like, hey, cancel GTA 6, cancel GTA 6, because there was a lot of Burna shown in their trailer, and there was, you guys remember that? Yeah, so that's, uh, I remember that happened, Henry. Uh, Skiddo should, uh, should be their <laughs> debate moderator. I should be the referee, though, I should be the referee. I should be becoming be a better person, though. I that am. is that I am. You think so? I am, yeah. Do you want to, do you want to go ahead and call me homophobic now or later? You said that twice. Like, is, no, is that your? No, go ahead. Well, yeah, I'm just. I'm, I'm ready. I'm is ready. Is your fetish? Are you into that? You into that humiliation kink? I, I, I'm. It, you I, like that? You fucking homophobe. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, just know whenever you, you whenever you want to be like, oh, you're homophobic. I've just, you know, I've, I've got a response ready for you. So whenever you want to do that. So, um, here's my next question. You think so given little that, of me? Given that, given that LGBT are a tiny three percent of the population, is it strange at all to you that uh, their depravity is being pushed in a hundred percent of games now? Um. So hard. let's go back. That, that's a that's a hard hitting question. Hard hitting. Hard hitting. Because. This is a pretty radical thing you've said. The more gay, lesbian, trans, and female characters we have in games, the better. I want to focus on this because no, well, you question? not something that what, I. I said. What question? There's three percent LGBT. For context, apparently the Andy Pence Gaming did say what Ekben just said, and that was his past. He's a changed man right now, but that's what he said. Maybe jokingly, maybe objectively, but that's like ammo for the Ekben. Um, and you cannot blame Ekben for bringing that up because Andy Pence Gaming started the start started this all, and he's the one that. Uh, brought his past. You feel what I'm saying? So Andy Pence initiated for, for because yeah, if he did not initiate this and Ackman brought this up, then we could argue it's a shitty thing to do. He was joking back in the days. It's a shitty thing to do for you to actually bring back uh, his past, uh, Ackman. But the fact that Andy Pence started this all and he's bringing up Ackman there. So, you know what I mean? It's only is fair if the Ackman brings up what the other party said, which uh, in this case happens to be Andy Pence. Uh, hey, Skizzle, are you getting Undisputed Undisputed next month? Uh, and what, uh, is, that is that a game? Uh, I don't know. Uh, first time hearing that, Henry, I don't know. What's that, mate? EQ plus, uh, why is there more representation in games? They're 3% of the population. Do you find it strange at all that they're being pushed in 100% of the games now? 100% uh, of the games. All oh, of, yeah. Everything's woke now? Dude, it's, everything. it's all, Homo flags are in everything, yes. Homo flags uh, are in everything. Being being pushed in every I, single game. Obviously, like, you're, like 100% of the games. It's being pushed in a lot of games, not 100% of the games. For example, like, th that, I, I get what Andy Pence is saying. I get it, but, you know, the Ackman is a better debater in this one. Like, he's relying on, uh, he's being objective about it. He's like, 100%? And he's able to dodge some questions, uh, right? He's dodging, Ackman is dodging questions without sounding like he's dodging questions. So he's like, hey, are you really for sure it's 100%? And truthfully, it's not 100%. We, we had like what, Stellar Blade, right? We had uh, Monkey Game, that Monkey Game, uh, what, what's the name? I forgot the name. Put, put it in the comments, put it in the comments. Yo, thank you all for 100 likes, thank you. Oh no, we're at 99 likes, my bad. Uh, sorry guys, so not gonna thank you right there. Bruh. But nah, thank you guys for 99 likes, okay? But but yeah, so it's not the 100% of the games and uh, yeah, the Wukong, the Wukong! Salute to Kevin B. No, nah, that, that's... That, no, nah, cannot do that. That's... Uh, no, no. Assassin's Creed? No, no. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what's up. It's not the... Okay, so the, the homie said... It's not LGBT that's being pushed, per se. It's a component of cultural Marxism. And I'm hearing that a lot, uh, actually, recently. Personally, I have not really dug deeper into it. I, I, I get what you're trying to say, but I don't have the full context. I need to... I need to keep myself up to date with that. So got it. I'll put on my notepad and I'll learn about it. Thank you. Like, no, go on. Let's be real. Uh, I do I, I think it's strange? Um, I get it. I, I don't necessarily. I get I don't it. Necessarily play those sides. You what? have to play those sides so that you can keep making money off both audiences. God. I just want the right-leaning audience to know that you have zero integrity and you're full of shit. That's all I want them to know. Boy, you, you don't know yes. what you're doing, man. Yes. Okay. You're too. So so moving you're on. You're too pure for this, man. So moving on. Why do you? Well, 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 I didn't answer the question. Okay. Do I ahead. think it's strange? You want, you want a real answer? No, I don't think it's strange. I think corporations do what thinks will make them money. And as you see with Concord, clearly didn't work out. Didn't work out. They didn't make money off it. Yo, honestly, Ackman is really good. He's really good. You, uh, yeah. Did you see what he did? And, and he spoke. Uh, and the reason it's good, and the reason I, 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 I cannot even say anything, is because he said no lies. So he answered the question. He did answer it, but not the way you would think. You feel what I'm saying? He's very good at it. He's good at it. And and listen, Andy Pants Gaming or Andy Pants Games or Gaming. 
he had good points in his uh, previous videos and all that and uh, some of the questions are hard hitting hard hitting he's but he's not getting what he want there and uh, Ackman is a he's a good debater I believe the reason he is is because uh, of uh, because last year he was under massive controversy right so he must have read like a lot of the comments and uh, he uh, he went through a moment and I feel like that uh, that's why because a lot of his fans turned on him right and I feel like that after that he's like okay he's uh, coming back strong if that makes sense uh, yeah do I think it's strange no it's, it's a noticeable pattern you could trace at least well not not just back to 2020 but after the, the BLM protest riots after all of that there were, like that's when a hard push began where corporations started being like wow there's a lot of popularity behind this movement let's Yo, Ricky coming in with 140. Yo, I don't even know how much is that, but I appreciate you, man. Thank you for the 145 bits. Thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, so you would drop 100 bits and 145. So 245 bits. Yo, thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate the love on Twitch as well, man. Thank you, guys, man. Sauce God, welcome on in, brother. Just here to alert. I see you as well, brother. What's up, man? How you guys doing? Uh, we got 30 minutes till the PlayStation stream. Capitalize on that. Let's like that famous fucking what was it a Pepsi ad? Yeah. So no, I don't think it's strange that they're pushing it. I think it's strange that they push it as hard as they might have done in Concord. Uh, but that game failed for a variety of other reasons. Not just not just because they had gay people in it. And it's, it's like I mean you're, you're using all the right dog whistles to, to get the certain audience and crowd that you want. Um, and it's like and and <coughs> sorry. Um, you know I, I can what? I can respect the grift to a certain extent, but you you have absolutely no grounds to question my. Yo, that was a massive one though. Damn. We all had those moments, like I have those as well, so... But like, damn, that was massive. Let me actually do like real-time speed there. Because I'm running on 1.75 there. I mean, you're, you're using all the right dog whistles to, to get the certain audience and crowd that you want. Um, and it's like, and... and <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a big one. Holy crap. But you do you, boo-boo. Right, let's get to it. You know, I, I can I can respect the grift to a certain extent, but you you have absolutely no grounds to question my integrity uh, when you have none. Dude, you play. I mean, I get why you play, oh, play both sides because you can grow a bigger. You, you keep saying that I don't play both sides. I, I make fun of both sides. Just off the gaze. Yes, you, you, yes, you, you that's how it. I grew my channel. But you, you, obviously, right, my you, play, you have zero integrity. and You play both sides. I get it. That's yep, classic. That's action. what I do, buddy. I mean, I just I play both sides. That's why both sides hate me at times because I make fun of both of them because I don't. Yo, Ricky, I appreciate the I appreciate the ten man. You the real oil prince around, man. You the real old prince around, bro. Thank you, brother. Here, My guess is that. I really felt weird when in The Last of Us 2, they just made Ellie lesbian, which was very unnecessary. Looks Naughty Dog gets paid for that kind of BS. Uh, and yeah, they, they killed Joel as well because they don't like families and all that. And killing Joel was also like, yeah, it'd be what it'd be, man. And, and then you play half, more than half of the game as Abby, the Brock Lesnar dude, right? So it's, it's whatever. It'd be what it'd be, man. It'd be what it'd be. But I believe I could... I'm not sure. I believe she was uh, even in the the, the first game. Uh, like Ellie was lesbian even in the first game. I believe. I could be wrong. Correct me. Uh, correct me in the in the chat if I'm wrong, guys. Strict myself to 50% of the material. You why, hate, why would I do that? When have you ever hated on the LGBT community in any? One of my most popular videos is feminism and SJWs versus. Video. What are you talking about? Like a ten-year-old video. People have 5.4 like, million happened? views, bro. What are you? People are like, what? Happened you keep moving that? the goalposts on everything. It's like, what have you ever made fun? People the Hogwarts Legacy like, shit was last year. You don't know anything about people my channel, are, bro. People are like, what happened to that Act Man? That's honestly what people are saying now. What happened to that Act Man? Because he went away. He disappeared. No, he didn't. He I made did. the Hogwarts Legacy video last year. What are you talking about? Questionable. What? What? Questionable? What do you mean? That video's still on my channel. You can check it out right now. What the audience is saying about you? They're saying. Ah, yeah, yeah. So you're just regurgitating what your audience is saying. I, I don't care what your audience thinks. I care about what you think. I want to hear your opinions, okay? Well, dude, and and I told you, I think it's incredibly strange to talk about Concord and not mention the clear woke slop. And you make fun of people who use the word woke, and you never use the word, even though it completely describes what's going on right now in gay games. Um. So the thing about the word woke is it harkens back to that old story we all read and were taught when we were growing up: the boy who cried wolf. These days, it's the boy who cried woke. There is so much disingenuous criticism using the word woke. The word is so liberally applied to everything because there are so many online grifters who produce daily outrage content that are saying this thing is woke this thing is woke you should be angry you should be upset tune in tomorrow for episode 4169 on why star wars is woke now and why you should hate it and be mad and angry and upset there's so much of that going on that the, the ending of the story of the boy who cried wolf is that at the end there was a wolf out there but because there were so many false claims of there being a wolf the people didn't help him so that's what's happened with the word woke when i hear somebody so it's it's what happened to the words racist and sexist a few years ago people were saying like air conditioning sexist and you know right. all this stupid shit is racist and sexist okay i never heard anybody say that but maybe he saw that maybe he saw somebody say that on twitter and Twitter is not real life, but but like damn this thing is crazy. No skill it was the DLC She was shown. Oh, okay. So in that it was yeah, that that's the thing right like these things always change stuff They always change stuff with the for for the modern audience in the modern times they change it for the modern audience They always do the salute to the captain BBC uh, Bro we're not talking about Assassin's Creed right now. When we do, okay, then it would make sense. But okay, let's go for two likes, guys. Let's keep it lighthearted here. 
sexist, and it destroyed the meaning that those words are supposed to have. The boy who cried racist, the boy who cried sexist, the boy who cried woke. These are these are three books in a volume, okay? That Dude, all have the so same the same ending. Dude, so it's it's. I mean, you're a video game critic, and, and you're, you do video game analysis. So I find it shocking that you don't see the pattern in a game like Concord having three black females in it and not a single white man. As a as a very astute, very talented, very good at making videos, it's just well, wild. You. To me that you. You don't, it's wild to me that you don't put put together a couple, uh, string together a couple of the dots, and even mention like, hey, huh? You know, I think there might be. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you guys uh, are just like killing it right now, man. Thank you all, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ellie, just uh, thank you for the five instant messenger. <laughs> Yo, Ricky and instant messenger, you guys are crazy, man. Thank you, man. Ellie just needs to get pregnant in order to bring immunity pure. It's that easy. Holy. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think he's right, guys. Yo, it... damn man, damn, damn man! Why didn't you tell that to to Naughty Dog, bro? You're a Naughty Dog, bro. Like that's your guy, and I think he may, he's on to something. I think he's on to something. I think he is right. One in the comments, if you think uh, uh, Instant Messenger is right, he just says that L E J because uh, for context, right? Apparently, L it said in the game in the first Last of Us, right? That that Ellie had she survived she's the survivor she has like the antidote to this ish and that's why like she needed to die uh in the game so they will pull out uh something from within her to make like a wax a vaccine and eh, i cannot say that word on youtube so they could make like the the tick tick let's just say right the the tick tick wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the the tick tick the tick tick exactly right. So they can make the tick tick, and it would be the antidote to the zombie apocalypse. But Joel was so attached, he's like, nah, man, like that's like my daughter. I cannot let her die. So that's the context. Now, what brother is now saying? Thank you for the five. I appreciate it, man. Gang gang, five hundred IQ right there, bro. Uh, he says that Ellie just need to get prego in order to bring immunity cure. It's that easy. Simple, simple. I think he's onto something, man. He's onto something. Be a pattern here in all these dog shit gay games that keep coming out a pattern so you're, you're equating black people in video games no no no. it's not about but, black people in video games it's about well, you, 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 shoehorned stupid diversity of of everybody you just talked about like there's three black people in this video game and no white guys <laughs> excuse right. me and and that's like that's the biggest reason you think why concord no, no, no. i'm giving i'm giving you a tiny okay. tiny example of a larger problem that everyone on the internet agrees is, is going on everywhere okay, right but now. But the problem to it and you just seem to turn your head the other way and i'm saying that's what's going your audience is that they're just like uh, yeah ackman just denies all this stuff because he wants to hang out with leftists and i'm sure you have a lot of leftist friends in the industry and all these homos and you go to pride parades and like i get it dude no no seriously <laughs> bro dude, dude i get it I, like, I get it. You're about your money. At hey. the end of the day. You're about your money, so you have to play both sides in order to keep both sides happy, but I think it means you have no integrity. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. Yo, tranquilo, tranquilo. Can, you, right. can you go back? Wait. No, no, what no, no, what did you right. say just uh, uh, 25, 30 seconds ago? Dude, dude, dude you're, you're right. Wait, wait. wait can, can you just reiterate what you were saying? Damn. I uh, kind of spaced out for a second. Really? You want me to repeat what I just said? Yeah, yeah. Just I really said, hammered home. <laughs> I said that you are playing both sides. You have no integrity. And I know that you're going you're gonna to cut together a video of me a year ago saying something stupid. And I'll be the first to say that I've grown since then and I've moved on from former views. Yeah, you, so, you moved on from the Xbox console warrior grift to the uh, anti-LGBTQ grift. Sure, if that's sure, if that's what you want to call it. Have you, that's what you it admit, is, man. Can you admit that you've moved on from making based videos to making play both sides puss videos? Dude, seriously. See, you're not being fucking serious with you this, bro. Serious. You keep laughing serious. because you you know what you're saying is so ridiculous. Dude, you have like that's why you're laughing. Dude, you have, no, I'm chuckling. <laughs> okay, funny. I play both sides. You have splinters in your ass from sitting on the fence so much, dude. You have splinters dude. in your ass from sitting on the fence so much. All you're doing is just taking comments from your comment section no, and just throwing them at me. You're not you, you're not giving me like your honest actual opinions. You keep saying like, is, no, that is 100. Huh? That is 100. Well, the opinion. audience is saying this. The audience is saying I'm not saying. I'm just asking questions. Um, fence sitting. So yeah, when, how do I sit on the fence? By point, point. I mean, I get it. It helps you make money as a YouTuber. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not asking. I'm asking for examples of when I've sat on the fence Dude, I and, and when I when I've played both sides. When do I do that? Okay, look, I, I get it. I just watched a political video you made a couple weeks ago, and you mm -hmm. talked about how I don't get into politics because I think politics are toxic, and I just want to talk about games, and that's fine. And, and that and that as given your type of content, that makes sense because it helps you play both sides and it helps you make as much money as possible to not talk about politics. And it's smart. Politics in the real world. Okay, I'm not gonna make a video about gun control. You know what I mean? I'm going. I'm here to talk yeah. about politics in media, in storytelling. That I'm fine with. I'm not gonna tell you how the fucking country should be run. Okay, I make video game videos, so. What do you mean sitting on the fence when I say, okay, I'm not going to turn into like a political channel that talks about, uh, you know, free speech and Second Amendment shit. Like, I, I do that shit on my Twitter, but that's separate from the YouTube channels. Like, I, yeah, I say dumb shit on Twitter all the time, but so this isn't really an example of me sitting on the fence when it, it's pretty clear cut, like what the intention is. Do you understand what I'm saying? Maybe reiterate it for me one more time. Okay, you space that, see what happens. <laughs> okay, so, uh, li listen, man, you cannot even be mad at the Ackman. He, Ackman is very good at it. Andy Pence Gaming, again though, he had solid points. I think he's 
He's just not a good debater, and personally, even I'm not a good debater. I never done a debate. I don't think of, I'm not planning on doing a debate. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I like yeah, exactly, right? Like why would I need to do a debate? But uh, Ackman is good. He's good at the good at the shit, man. Yeah, he's he runs a gaming channel, and there's no need for him to talk about other stuff for example like the gun control or the other politics uh, to have it or to not have it this and that so he's like i'm not even gonna talk about how to run the country because i'm not a president or i'm not into that realm so i'm not even gonna talk about it i think that's good uh that's good and he just sounds like a uh, scorn fan and standards i am who us lol we are the ones who did something about it is act mama <gasps> sweet baby can't uh, imagine a game about an african blacksmith so instead insert this into eurocentric games okay that's what the homie said oscar what's up bro how you doing man long time what's good man welcome back oscar we're waiting for a playstation stream and we're wa witnessing a massive debate going down right now in the history of video games with andy pants and the act man um, Welcome on so in, brother. the video on my second channel about uh, yeah, everything is fine in America, I thought that was a good title. Um, yeah. the, the point of that video is essentially like, hey, there's a really toxic time in America, there's a lot of um, heat in the rhetoric and discussion going on, and uh, I don't want to divide my audience by, uh, sorry, I don't want to divide my audience into and turn it into some like political channel where I like start preaching about, you right. know, whether they're going to take our guns away or First Amendment. Or, right. I'm not here to no, talk about no, policies no. in the real world. I'm here to talk about video games, why they're awesome and bad, and, and politics in those games are, is part of that analysis, if they're awesome and bad. When you say, oh, there's three black people in Concord, I look at that and I say, okay, that's on like a very, very, very low list of things <laughs> I think are wrong with Concord. No, right? there's, no, there's actually like Man. five or six black people in Concord. I said yeah, there's black women in Concord. Oh, oh even, yeah. worse. even worse. They were women too? Fuck. Dude, dude it's, it's, it's funny that you bring this up because um, somebody on your server actually called a black person a monkey. It's wow, funny no way. No, 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 One I, person in my I, fucking Discord server no, 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 said something look, racist look, once? Look, oh my God. Look, look, oh my God. He's so based. Dude, are you look, for real, bro? Are you no, for real? No, no, don't come no, at me no, with this fucking weak shit. No, no, no. And look, and look, I will be the first person to say that there's stuff on my Discord that happens that I, that I don't know about. My only point in saying this is that there's no, nobody more racist than leftists like you. Nobody is more racist. How the fuck did you extrapolate that? Are you, are, do you have brain damage? How did you extrapolate this from some fucking random? This is what you come at me with, bro? Okay, yo, time out right there. Pump the brakes real quick, man. Listen, bro. Like, damn, man, you, you cannot, like, say one man is racist because of some what somebody else said. And in this case, it happens to be a, a guy in Discord called, uh, you know, what he called. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, okay? So, you cannot say Ackman is racist based off what the other person said. You feel what I'm saying? That's, that's, yeah, Andy's reaching on this one. And again, though, like, we saw Andy Pence videos before and, and... They have like solid points. They got solid points, okay? They got solid points. Why they got solid points? Because it's facts. It's true. But when Andy Pence is gonna say like Concord, the entire reason Concord failed because of like the LGT and all that, that's a massive factor. But I think also graphically and gameplay wise, the, the game sucked. The game sucked. It belonged in one place only and one place only. And that's the garbage. And that's where it, it went to. Uh, they, they took it down. They took down the game. Uh, but yeah, there is a Ackman thinks that like the LGTV crap uh, in Concord is not a massive factor. I think it's a massive factor. Andy Pence think that it's like the the all that all that is the reason why it failed. I think it's it was a massive factor because the characters were not good looking. That's why. But also gameplay and graphics wise, the game is not anything good either. So it's like collective. It's like bunch of factors. Uh, bunch of factors, but. Damn, man, like this is getting heated right now. So, oh my god, so if, this if, is weak. No, dude, you ain't I'm no giga chat, bro. This is, dude. I'm just telling you that somebody on your server, there's a, there's a wow. black guy, from my, there's a black guy from my community on your server, and he got called a monkey. And then somebody said that he lived in a mud hut. So I guess these are the people. Hey, that you well, thank you for stuff. bringing that to my attention because well, I yeah. can talk to my mods and take action against this. Yeah. If action hasn't already been taken, yeah. Um, well, so this is the hard hitting stuff. The, the Discord yeah, messages from random uh, users in a public server. Yeah. So wow. I thought it was. I thought it was funny, thought it was funny because it shows how racist you are that one person got in your server and said something racist, and that that I'm putting all on you. And you're a leftist, and you're like, are you retarded, Andy? You're not retarded. There's no way you can make this possible connection through any logical means and actually believe it. Dude, your friends that go to, go to the Pride Parade are going to hate that you said retard right now. They're going to hate I don't, I don't give a shit. Your don't give a shit. friends are going to hate that you said retard. I know. You guys should ch check out my leftist friends from the unsubscribe podcast that I was just on. Those guys, man, they really want to take away our guns. And, uh, yeah. No, I guess, I, but, but I... I shout out to the guys on unsubscribe. Uh, those guys are fucking awesome. I had a great time, by the way. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yo. I just thought it was funny with Concord. It's I'm, I love black characters in games. I think it's great to have black characters in games. My point is that it's odd to be like, hey, here's six black characters in a game and not one white character, and it shows uh, a bias. And I think it's I think you, you do your channel a disservice by like never talking about it. And it's like you specifically avoid ever talking about these these things like the uglification of women, dude. Like the Star uglification. Wars. Did you come Bro, up with that you word? That true. is dude. The uglification. Are you, are you gonna sit, dude? Are you gonna sit here and deny that women are being made ugly in games? <laughs> like you're you're chuckling about it, but you know it's true. <sighs>
It's yeah, true, Sam though. was saying, ain't a baby no okay, more. That, that part, I, I gotta give it to Andy. That, that's true. The, the reason that's true is because uh, we have the proof, man. We got the receipts. So, yeah, they do make women uh, look ugly in the games. Uh, yeah, that, that's a fact, though. That's a fact. That's a fact. Thoughts, guys? Agree? Disagree? Let me know, man. Let it all out, man. Let it all out. Uh, you don't like the two times speed? Uh, it's 1.75. It's uh, 1.70. But I know what you mean. Bro, like, uh, because at one speed, it's so slow, bro. It is really slow, and we're gonna be here for 10 years. Because the stream is happening in 15 minutes, uh, or 16 to be fair though, I put it all as like 1 minute extra. So like, yeah, we need to get through this sucker immediately, you feel what I'm saying? Goku or Superman? Uh, for me, I'm not into anime, I would go with Superman, I know that that might be criminal, that might be criminal, that might be criminal. Or, jeez. But... Uh, um, I would go with if you want, like, again, if you want actual real answers, but you're going for like cheap gotchas that are, are not going to work. Okay, you're, you're firing blanks at me, bro. I mean, and, and <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you'll answer them, I'd like real answers and gotcha answers. But gotcha uh, answers, but well, fuck, you got me. Women are super ugly in video games. No, how dude. have I not seen the light? I'm dude, just I, now seeing it, Andy. I, I just, I just find it very strange that you would deny, dude. It's like I, deny I what? Deny what? Finish that sentence. I find it in interesting that you would deny the obvious like uglification of women of women that's going on in games right now. Like, okay, so do you remember? Do you remember what I was talking about with the boy who cried wolf? Do you remember that? Yes. Okay, so when people come out and, and I hear about this game as well, because, you know, blah, 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 blah. Should, if you go on Twitter, you, could, you will see something new every single fucking day. I don't make videos just because one person on Twitter says, well, wow, look at how ugly they are, and all that shit. It's like, I'm, I'm going for substance. I'm not just here somebody to, to obsess over the graphics of, of every single video game female character and, and, like, analyze how big her boobs are and whether she's got camel toe. Uh, like, I try to cover important shit about video games. And that's fine, that's fine if people want to cover that shit, like, and, and talk about that. Um, Dude, but you're but I'm not obligated to make videos about the uglification of women. No, you know? no, I don't think you're. I don't think you're obligated to make videos about it. But I'm, you're saying why don't I? Because I, I'm interested in other aspects of video games. Like, right. That, that isn't gonna piss off the lefties. I get it. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I never want to piss them off. Uh, you know. So, never. Never. So, oh. Let me just, let me, just let, me take, let me take a tip from you. I should start scrubbing my stuff, like the feminist and SJWs. I should get rid of that. I should get rid of the Hogwarts Legacy video, so that I can really yeah, lean hard into appealing to uh, leftists. I mean, if you you're now, uh, uh, for context sake, like uh, the Eggman did make videos criticizing uh, criticizing the left politics and games but he uh, uh yeah so that's what he's talking about right now that's what he's talking about good strategy andy dude i, I wasn't very good at, you know i clearly wasn't very good at scrubbing myself no you weren't you left a massive fucking paper trail and i have no idea why you agreed to talk with me when you when you left so much evidence behind I, dude i grew as a person can you say that you you're, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to flip-flop on a lot of things man Oh, I will 100% say yes. I flip flopped and I grew as a person. Are you willing you to? Flip, you you flipped on a lot of things. Yeah. Are you, uh, you getting uh, triggered watching? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the two, man. L listen, man. Don't take internet shit real, bro. Like it's just the internet, bro. Like the way I see it is, bro. Like it's it's the internet, man. Don't matter, bro. Don't matter, man. Like don't take it for real, for real. Like yeah, you need to get the high vibration, brother. Yeah, like yeah, bro. Like just drink water, chill, man. It's we're gonna get Sony Pony stream next, and guess what? We're probably gonna be disappointed after that, so... <laughs> Disappointment? Listen, man, I I'll tell you a nice little hack. Be disappointed so often that... Even when you get disappointed... Okay, so I'm gonna fuck it up. Uh, be disappointed so often that it's like, bro, it, it don't even matter. It don't even matter the next time you get disappointed. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I've been disappointed so much, guys. Like, listen, man, I've been disappointed so much, man. I think I'm gonna cry, man. I'm gonna cry. Man. Yeah, so... Uh, Exactly. Embrace disappointment, man. Embrace disappointment. Embrace it, and then you're never gonna get triggered, bro. You willing, are you are you willing to admit that you went from catering to an alt right audience, and now you're talking to lefties now? No. What are you talking? When, when did I cater to an alt right audience? Your your audience is saying you used to be based, and you're not. Uh, again, anymore. again, your audience. What do you think? Don't talk about my audience or your audience. This isn't a debate I between think, me and your fucking chat, okay? I think you're a lefty now. I think you've, you've gone left. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hardcore. Hardcore. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I want, I, I I want like communism. Activision, if you want to rub elbows with the Activision execs and all this, people, you're, you're just gotta... recycling all this dumb shit that isn't sticking at all. Like, okay, all right. Like, but, it, but hang on, back to the women. Andy, let me let me ask you a question. Bruh. Has what? God what taken the anger out of your heart? What, what, why do you ask that? I just uh, just curious. I mean, I mean, if you're, do you think I, I want you to be? You don't have to be honest with me, but you got to be honest with him. Well, do you think where you're at wait, right wait, now? You're not a Christian. God is taking the anger out of your heart. Wait, do you, are you a Christian now? Do you believe in God? Because it's not like I'm, I'm asking you, man. I'm asking you. Well, what, what does it matter if God doesn't exist? What does it matter? What are you talking about? You think God doesn't exist now? No, no. You said that you're not a Christian earlier, so I assume you don't think God, is, God exists. So what does it matter? Oh, so you're just making assumptions. Uh, so you do believe that God exists? I believe that God exists. Okay, so you're not a practicing. Would you call yourself a Christian? No, no. I don't go to church. I don't practice religion. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, you know, there's like non-denominational people who don't right. ascribe to like. Uh, at least from my understanding, right. uh, you know, different denominations. Uh -huh. There's so many interpretations of Christianity, but um, right. I'm I will, I'm I will asking you. I will pray about that, and I and thank you for bringing that to my attention, and, and I will consider that. Consider what? That that uh, your your question about me being hateful, and you know, like as a Christian, I do have to consider that stuff. Like I don't, I, I do. don't want to be hateful. I don't you want to be have hateful. to look. But you so, have to decide how you want to pursue internet fame. What path do you want to go down? Because like I've told you, I've seen some of your other older videos that you've tried to hide from your audience, and some of them are good. Some of them, are, some of them are good. You know, the, you had a video about how Fallout New Vegas has the best quest design, and 
you know, it's like, yeah, fuck yeah. You know, you should do more stuff like that and not I mean, pander so much to the gays are destroying our video games crowd. Well, it's like, hard, sure, dude. sure. Oh, yes, but the boy who cried wolf, okay? So it's hard to find the wolf when every fucking time a new game comes out, it's woke. And, it's, and the gays are ruining it. Every fucking time a new video. You just said 100% of the games that come out are woke. Every single fucking one of them, okay? This <laughs> it's, it should say most of the games. Right now, most of the games are, you know what I'm saying? Not 100%, but... A Ackman is trying to be objective. He, he got good debating skills, though. He got good debating skills. Again, Ackman defending sketch says a lot about what side he tries to appeal to. Oh, the sketch one, right? Like, yeah, I remember, like, there was huge drama, right? So he uh, was role-playing as, like, a mentally uh, ill person. No disrespect to anybody who's, like, men not mentally stable, but he was acting like a... And people believed it, uh, yeah, that he was mentally not there. And he role-played that? And he was sucking BBCs. I'm not even joking. He was sucking BBCs. And if you like sucking BBCs, I mean, that's your thing. That's your thing. But like, but like, Daniel. So he role played as a mentally ill person. And people were like, damn, man. Like, you know, let me donate real quick. Let me do this. And it turned out it was fake. It was, it was fake. So he role played as a, unless he said it, it was for entertainment. Then that would be different. But he was like dead ass playing from what I, from what I got from that. All right. He was role playing as a men mentally challenged person and on the side he was like sucking bbc's and people were like hey bro like how did you know how to suck a bbc bro like like damn like damn bro how do you know how to suck a bbc like i thought you were mentally not there you you feel what i'm saying right like so people started questioning bro like we got a we saw a video of you sucking a bbc uh and you claim that you're not mentally stable so how did you know and then like one thing led to another another thing to led led to another 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 thing next thing next thing next thing, and people put the, all the pieces together and discover that sketch was just lying so you know yeah he got caught he got caught uh ricky thank you for that too man uh many in dono ki yo chill papa poppy poppy chill bhaijan and na aise nahi karte bhai aise nahi karte this is a boy who cried wolf scenario, and it's okay. I, I, so I, I can't. How am I supposed to take? Am I just supposed to believe in what you say blindly, dude? This are you the ultimate arbiter of of what's gay and woke? And, and, and I'm not joking, guys. I I'm not joking. So that that was the news. That's not my opinion. Uh, Sketch was caught sucking a BBC, and that's true. I that is true. That is true. This is not my opinion. And he was role playing as a mentally ill person. Uh, and people for real question that this is not my opinion. That's what was reported on the news and all this you know what i mean like dude i'm just saying it's odd that you never talk about it it's odd that you never talk about it i talk about it when i feel like it's an actual issue or when i have it. like I the need... hogwarts legacy stuff bro okay, that was a right. huge deal that was okay. a huge deal i've okay. talked about this before okay. i had a, i had uh i did a video it was like ocarina of time is a gay coming of age story i, I did a response to this uh, random article and it was like it was so bizarre and <laughs> it was just see what what i've always made fun of and criticized on my channel is bad faith critique of video games and the medium of video games and people make bad faith arguments on the left people make bad faith arguments on the right okay i don't i don't discriminate against either of those it's all fair game okay it's all fair game so i don't so, fence it i don't play both sides dude okay sony pony stream starting in nine minutes we got nine minutes we gotta get through this debate fast boys of course you do you said you did in a video you said i don't want to talk about politics that's, that's politics insane. in the real world not in video games come on bro it's the same thing dude you're so no it isn't no it isn't it. it's how fitting because you don't know the way i see it listen listen uh, again right like Andy Pants Gaming in general has good points and videos, but in this debate, I gotta hand it over to the act, man. So far, okay, we still got a little bit, or maybe there's gonna be a turnaround, but so far, where are you guys at? Okay, one in the comments if you're with Andy Pants. With, I'm not talking about like uh, other stuff because generally, Andy Pants Gaming in his videos got good points, okay? But I'm talking just this debate. One, if you're on the side of Andy Pants, two, if you're on the side of the act, man, in terms of like who's winning this debate. Uh, because uh, the Eggman, he claims that he made a video on the Hogwarts Legacy, and he did. He did criticize it. He didn't. He doesn't criticize it a lot. And, and the way I see it is that it's like his channel, right? He's uh, fair. He's able to do whatever he wants. And if you want to criticize it, he can criticize it. If you don't want to criticize it, he don't want to criticize it. I think it's fair because it's his channel. The, you feel what I'm saying? But of course, as a viewer, as a person, I'm talking about me, okay? As a viewer, when I see that you run a gaming news channel, I'm talking about the Ackman. When you run a gaming, I, I should say, with uh, gaming news would be a more appropriate towards Battler News and uh, uh, and Yongya, not necessarily the Ackman because Ackman does not do daily uploads. So you, you see what I mean, right? So I I'm trying to be fair here, man. But when I see that you run a gaming channel review channel and you talk about video games 
You should talk about what fans are talking about. You should talk about what people are talking about. You should talk about what's actually going down. And that is the woke agenda being pushed in the video games. Now, it is true that it's not in 100% of the games because that's uh, what uh, the Ackman was relying on during the stream. And he's right. It's not in 100% of the games, but it's in a lot of games uh, right now. It's getting uh, bled into a lot of games. But uh, Andy Pants uh, is not bringing solid points right now because every points that he tried to bring, it doesn't sound sincere. And then the Ackman just counters it instantly right then and there. So, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of you guys are saying one, a lot of you saying two as well. Okay, so it's pretty mixed, it's pretty mixed. I don't like either lol, but I'll edge uh, number two, meaning that the... Okay, so on the side of the Ackman. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, uh, and, and if you're like, hey, why are people uh, against Ackman right now? It's because last year, uh, Heal vs. Babyface was criticizing Starfield for being a bad game, objectively, and also the push of the LGTV agenda in video games. And the Ackman called out Heal vs. Babyface, and he said that Heal vs. Babyface need to get shot down by a bear tranquilizer. Uh, I'm not making that up, that's what the Ackman said. And a lot of people are like, hey, what the hell, bro? Because uh, the Ackman was also getting cancelled, and people supported him. People were like, hey, we should not cancel the Ackman. And people were on the side of the Ackman, and then the Ackman turned his back on the community and started cancelling like another fellow YouTuber, or at least uh, aided towards his cancellation, I'm talking about as Heal vs. Babyfist, so that was the moment where a lot of people kind of turned on the Ackman, but that was a year ago, and uh, yeah, and now we're here, essentially, so. I don't want to piss off the leftists because that would interfere with your bag. I get it. <laughs> that is the dumbest fucking thing I've heard. Okay, okay. Uh, well, so, why would I not, look at, look at the views you're getting on your audience, why would I not cater to that crowd? What are you talking about? Because you don't want it, because you would lose, uh, yeah, I would lose, yeah, I would, I would lose, lose the lefties. Left That's why when you're saying your audience is wondering why you don't cover this, yeah, it's, when people right. unsubscribe, <laughs> it's, right. a and no, it's I, not I, the leftists. Dude, I, uh, okay, so Labelle on the on the on the Twitch says you appreciate you being on Twitch, brother. It's bear spray, bear tranquilizer would kill a human. I think maybe I don't know, man. I'm not a I'm not a scientist, but Ackman did not say bear spray, bro. He did say that heal versus baby fist need to get shot down by a bear tranquilizer. The reason he was saying that was because like the heal versus baby fist has like a r big meltdown, and he was like real angry on stream, so that's why he said that. I, I do I do appreciate your advice from earlier, but the reality is, do you want to focus on that? I, even in my old Xbox videos, I talked about woke stuff. I talked about woke stuff on my old Xbox channel. It's just that happened to be an audience that didn't want to hear me talk about the woke stuff, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna follow the algorithm and make content that my that my audience wants here. But I still 100% have always believed the woke stuff. I've always been very passionate and outspoken about my. Yeah, but so but you had you had changed in that regard. You had nuanced takes though. That was the difference. Is that you would say things along the lines of yes, you know, I I think more trans, gay, lesbian characters in games uh, is a good thing. However, that doesn't mean you I get to criticize. Wait, wait, wait. However, that doesn't mean I'm paraphrasing what you're saying by the way. Uh, but but I have the you know we have the videos. But you would say however that doesn't mean you get to criticize Kojima for fetishizing women in his games. And I was like, you know what? That, that's a nuanced take. Like, right. you, you, you are hard pivoting to a very specific crowd. And Dude, I'm not pivoting to anything. This is stuff that I've always talked about. You can, I'll show you. A, you you have always talked about it, but you were not as, as far gone as you are right now. That's what I'm trying to say is that that's why I ask, you know, did right. God allow, has he taken the hatred out of your heart? And you don't have to answer that to me or your audience or anybody, but you will have to answer that to him. You know? dude, dude, there's there's certain activities and actions that God um, says are shameful and says are sinful. And so and I am, I'm taking a stand for Christ every single day oh. that I make my YouTube channel and that I make videos. I'm taking a stand for truth. I'm taking a stand mm. for God. And so I don't have to be ashamed about any of that. Oh. No. As opposed to playing both sides Damn. and like kind of claiming to be a lukewarm Christian and like, oh, I'm going to... Lukewarm Christian? Cool. No, no, no. no don't misinterpret it. Don't. Like, I don't actually believe anything versus like I'm standing on God's word. I'm a Christian and I'm standing on those values and I make videos about it. But I get it, like, dude. I get it. You don't want to get into religion. Nobody ever wants to talk about religion. So I'm not going to talk about that. I don't, I don't mind. I brought it up for a reason. Yeah, let's talk about it. I mean, Holy. I, in one of the, in one video I found, you uh, you said you used to debate atheists. Dude, I, dude, I was debating atheists yesterday. People, oh, on really? channel, people on my channel hated it, hated it. So my channel is maybe like 70% religious people and like 30% atheist agnostic. And I was debating with atheists on my channel yesterday. And I lost like 22 subscribers because I was debating atheists. And I should have done it. So anyway, I was debating I do find it interesting that you keep note of exactly how many subscribers you lose. Dude, you I remember a post on, on... Dude, come on, brother. No, I don't. That's not really. why you're playing both sides. It's because you're looking at your numbers. I get it. My numbers are all up right now. They're pretty, yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and it's not because I mean, it's not because I'm catering to yeah. leftists. I would have made some fucking shit tier excuse for Concord if that was the case. Yeah, like, you know, it actually wasn't that bad. If you talked about woke stuff, you'd lose like a million subscribers right now. So I get why you can't talk about woke stuff. You do you actually believe that? It's I, I can prove it, dude. Prove oh, you can prove it. Oh, God, bro. Prove us wrong and make an alt right video tomorrow, and I promise you, you'll, you'll you lose want, a so, subscribers. So you want me to make a video about something I don't actually think or believe? Okay, so you so you, you want me to start grifting, <laughs> dude? Earlier, earlier you were acknowledging that there is a push for LGBT stuff in all the games now. Not all the games, not all the games. Not all the games, but but Hell Divers too. I mean, that was that was a pretty fucking masculine game. We're talking about new. Well, I guess. Uh, you're talking about new characters, I guess Helldivers was- d d pants Gaming, bro, just say like most games nowadays, excluding uh, that that uh, Stellar Blade, Helldivers, of course. They wanted Helldivers, they wanted to inject the politics in Helldivers too. The, the Discord mods, we saw that the drama, the community managers, 
uh, they had like a lot of flags in the bio and, and later on they removed it and people and gamers started assuming it's because of the higher ups that held ever said remove that crap we don't want any political affiliation with our product and good on them man uh, so they really made a good product for the gamers essentially and people enjoyed it right now players dip but it's probably because like the game is dry right and it's uh pretty normal it happens to mostly every game so that's pretty normal right yeah it'd be what it'd be. a new franchise but if we're going back to that example sorry i cut you off what are you saying hang on dude and, and by the way you never answered answer this question i just want to get on page you saying that women the, the attractiveness of women in games now compared to 10 years ago has not gone down women, female attractiveness has got, not gone down in quality in video games the past 10 years Oh, you're giving me a script now? No, I'm not giving you a script. I'm just you, just, you just told me you want me to say that on tape. No, no, look. Whatever. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Look, it is simply a question. Do you that wasn't agree? a question. You said I want to get this on tape. Can you say this? <laughs> do you agree or disagree that female attractiveness has gone down oh, the past 10 years in video games? How do you quantify that? Dude, you know yeah, it's true, women's... man. You know they, women look like garbage in games. I mean, if, if I were to look at like recent video game releases, um, I'm sure there'll be a mix. I think, like, why are you I think well, here, here's the thing. Here's that. You remember that Overwatch diversity chart that leaked? Yeah. So stuff like that, stuff that is tangible. I cover stuff like that. It's not not like oh, this female character doesn't have the rockin' double D boobs. Uh, woke this woke. I don't make shit like that. Okay. Uh, but when it's something tangible, when it's like an internal document at Blizzard that shows that they're grading their characters based on a set of diversity charts mm -hmm. and numbers, yeah, I'll cover that because that's fucking insane. Mm -hmm. That's actually something for me to point at and say, wow, this is like a really bad mindset to make video games with instead of like some creative inspiration. When I were tokenizing everybody it, and giving them a score, a diversity score. Um, Dude, careful, careful. You, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to piss right off now. the leftists. I'm going to move. Like going all right now. I love. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful. When are we going to get into the final solution? You know, when are we going to when are we going to get rid of them all? Wait, kill all the people? Kill all no, the no, the gays. The gays. Kill all the, well, they want to get rid of all the white men. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, yo, tranquilo, papi. Yo, papi, chill, papi. I think Ant Man is turning cut like Destiny, bro. Or watch me. What? what? Yo, Bok, what's, what you saying, bro? What's you, okay, you guys crazy. Guys, we got like a like a minute. We gotta get we through this. Skip the bullshit and just go right to the final solution. I mean, we're talking. They're talking about killing all the white men. So no, but I'm talking you and me. Like, what are, how, how are we gonna start the great? The, <laughs> how are we gonna survive it when they come? From no, the no, 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 no. How, how are we going to kill them all? Who are we talking about? The gays. <laughs> the gays. Like any gays. Gays are celebrated everywhere. Every single corporation is will pat no, you on the I, back I, and give you 20 promotions if you're gay and trans and yeah, yeah, so like I from getting patted on the back for being gay right now. Uh, he Andy Pence is not wrong in a way though. He's not wrong, man. Based off of what we're seeing nowadays, it's like yeah, that's not wrong, right? Especially like Ubisoft. So recently was found out, and this was a big story. I think Ackman should cover that. Ubisoft basically have like a mentorship program where they do not allow men, bro. Oh. Damn, this thing is crazy, bro. Like, you heard that story. We covered that story the other day. So Ubisoft have a mentorship program. You cannot say mentorship without men in it, bro. And Ubisoft is like, okay, we gotta have a mentorship and that's only for the females and the non-binaries. So if you're a man and you identify as a female, then you can be there. But if you're a female and you identify yourself as a man then you cannot so it's like it, it's kind of tough right now man it's kind of tough like damn man like what are we talking about man um all right dude well i'm gonna i'm gonna wind the video down here but i did want to ask you one last final um question that's not oh, edgy yeah, at all yeah, yeah, about. sure i mean like if you still want to have like a real conversation but if you want to just yeah, shoot blanks at me I'm, I'm down to deflect each and everyone what is i like you am a huge and you might have talked about this in one of your videos but i didn't see it i like you i'm a huge halo fan what is the best halo multiplayer game uh i would say three three is probably three. right choice um like, like, see, this is what we should be talking about. We should be talking about like video games that we love, and not just like how everything, every franchise. All right, guys, it looks like that they're trying to square things up. Yo, give, shout out to them, man. Shout out to them. It looks like that they're gonna square things up, guys. They're gonna square things up, man. Check out this video on the screen, guys, and I'll see you right there.